Welcome to the LSAT preparation course. This study guide is your key to the exam success. So what is on the LSAT? The LSAT contains four 35 minute multiple choice sections and one 35 minute writing section. So the writing section. In the writing section, you are presented with a situation and you must choose between two positions or courses of action and defend your choice. This section provides you with an opportunity to demonstrate your argumentative writing skill. Your position must be transparent and decisive with strong supported criticism of the opposite position. Law schools are not looking for your expertise in law, they are evaluating your ability to organize your thoughts with clarity using appropriate grammar and language that shows an ability to defend your position. The multiple choice sections, you have 35 minutes to complete each section, including the experimental section. So here is reading comprehension, analytical reasoning, and logical reasoning. This LSAT course is remarkable self-study system for self-driving students. Master the LSAT with tools developed by top LSAT teacher, that's me, and you are welcome to this course. The LSAT curricular materials are an excellent supplement to the course. The LSAT is very learnable. If you study hard and master the techniques on this course, your score will improve purely significantly. This course will provide proven test-taking techniques and strategies, focused analysis of question types, many full-length practice exams, proven techniques to help your score higher, answer explanations for each practice questions and quizzes, endorsed strategies for logic games, analytical reasoning and reading comprehension, strategies with proven techniques for a high score, expert top tips, hence, and advices, grant tips for the writing samples. You will learn to create game balls to answer each question, determine answer profiles and avoid common mistakes, Gain confidence by solving problems on practice tests and build your speed and accuracy. And let's go to the LSAT logical reasoning. Discover the underlying simplicity of these problems. Recognize common answer patterns and the tactics the LSAT writers use to obfuscate the answers. And I would like to tell that this section, sometimes called the argument section, presents an array of arguments from an assortment of sources, such as magazines, newspapers, professional journals, advertisements, and informal debate. You should be able to deconstruct the argument into its parts and recognize how those parts work together. A lawyer's success centers of the capacity to build a convincing argument based on the evidence available, as well as tearing down opposing viewpoints. As such, these questions assess your capability of disproving example stories and replacing them with rational conclusions of your own. Also, this section of the task provides short passages that you must read and then answer one or two questions about. These passages or arguments are taken from sources including magazine, newspapers, scholarly publications, informal discourse, and advertisement. These mirror legal reasoning both in their complexity and types of arguments. The questions will test your ability to evaluate, analyze, and complete these arguments. These skills are essential to law and legal analysis as a law student. You will need to identify parts of arguments, deciding what is most important and how any evidence presented in the future may affect it. 
you will need to be able to use arguments as a persuasion tool and to resolve contrasting position. You will not be expected to have prior knowledge of certain terminology or the topics in the presented passages. Your job will be to understand and evaluate the reasoning found in them. Reading comprehension. This section developed the ability to spot places from which questions are likely to be drawn as you read a passage, pivotal words, counter premises, and etc. Also, this section tests your ability to read and understand complex materials. Lawyers spend countless hours pouring over lengthy documents, and law schools want to be certain their students possess the ability to read and comprehend various types of expository texts. Schools expect you to be able to make sense of unfamiliar and difficult information, similar to what is found in cases, briefs, cuts, contracts, decisions, and evidence. There are four passages, each with five to eight questions to answer. Your ability to understand structure, propose, comparing, and contrasting, and points of view are evaluated rather than your understanding of the facts. Also, this reading comprehension section of the test is designed to measure your ability to read and again, complete passages similar to those you will come across during law school. This section consists of four sets of reading questions, each of them containing one reading passage and five to eight following questions. However, one section will include two reading passages followed by questions. This is a comparative reading section. You will need to discern the relationship between the two. The reading selections are pulled from a wide variety of sources and subjects. This will most likely be densely written with high level of vocabulary and consist of sophisticated arguments with multiple points of view. The task questions may ask about the following ideas for each passage. The main idea or primary purpose, information that is explicitly stated, information or ideas that can be inferred, the meaning or proposal words or phrases as used in context, the organization or structure, the application of information in the selection to a new context, principles that function in the selection, analogies to claims or arguments in the selection, and author's attitude as revealed in the tone of a passage or the language used, the impact of new information on claims or arguments in the selection. Now, the turn is analytical reasoning. Groundbreaking techniques for solving games with step-by-step -step strategies and techniques for approaching every type of game. This section, often referred to us as the logic games, tests your ability to understand the effects of rules on decisions and outcomes. Determine the relationship between concepts, analyze the situation, draw conclusions based on set guidelines, and apply logic to ambiguous or complex situations. You are given both literary and expository texts to practice making inferences and using both inductive and deductive reasoning skills based on a set of conditions in a given situation. The questions are in sets and are most often formed in an if-then format. The questions are also generally unrelated to law in order to measure the abilities of students from a variety of backgrounds. In addition, this section of LSAT consists of several sets of questions. Each set is based on one single passage. These passages will describe common grouping and ordering relationships. Examples may include ordering tasks according to priorities, assigning instructors to class sessions, or scheduling in place for work shifts. Your job here is just to pose a correct solution to a problem based on the relational information you are given then decide what could be or must be true about the situation. 
Next, fill in missing facts by using implied information and complete if-then statements and recognize their relationships. You won't need to have any prior knowledge of the topics or cases being discussed. You'll also use the knowledge, reasoning abilities, and skills expected of college students and graduates. Now, let's move to the logic games. Sure fire strategies and techniques for solving every kind of logic game. The most game practice available anywhere. So that is the only course that gives you intensive practice. Diagramming skills for solving the toughest logic games. Various and many practice games and tasks with complete and transparent explanation. And breakthrough method. Your asset score can make the difference. And SARA preparation helps you do your best. So I wish you a high score on your exam and good luck.